so this is the new GoPro Hero 11. Yesterday the first images of the new GoPro were leaked. Today we take a close look at the images and analyze what we can expect from the new GoPro. The images of the GoPro Hero 11 were leaked exclusively on the German website WinFuture and by Leaker Roland Quant. This was already the case in previous years, that is with the Hero 10 and the Hero 9. All of the leaks published by WinFuture about the GoPro were always accurate, so you can assume that these images are real. What is immediately noticeable in the images is that the GoPro Hero 11 looks absolutely identical to the GoPro Hero 10. Here you can see a comparison with the images that were published last year. The only thing that has obviously changed is the number, which is an 11 instead of a 10. This is also true when we look at the new GoPro from different angles. Unfortunately, it's also a little disappointing, because when we look at the back of the new GoPro, we realize that the LCD display has not changed either. It still has the thick black bezels. I must honestly admit that I had personally expected at least a new and larger display, but unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. All the buttons, the water drain, the front display, the lens, everything looks the same as on the Hero 10. The images of the packaging are missing this year. Therefore, we can only speculate about the specs at the moment. So what can we expect from the new Hero 11? In recent months, there has been repeated speculation about the new sensor. Personally, however, I don't expect the sensor of the Hero 11 to be significantly larger than that of the Hero 10. That would probably require changes to the body, or at least the lens. But it is possible that the new sensor will have more megapixels. This would of course allow for higher resolution photos and videos. Recordings in 6K, for example, are quite realistic. 8K might be possible, but it would require significantly more megapixels. Personally, I think this is rather unlikely. That would inevitably lead to problems with overheating and would also have other disadvantages. Personally, I rather expect a more efficient use of the GP2 processor, which was introduced last year. I expect a much longer battery life. A stronger battery has been around for a while, only it was sold as an accessory until now. Higher frame rates are also possible. I would at least like to see better image quality at 240 frames per second. The image quality of the Hero 10 at 2.7K and 240 frames per second is hardly distinguishable from 1080. The leak also includes a live streaming image. It is therefore probably safe to assume that the Hero 11 will enable live streaming in 4K. There will certainly be further improvements to the software and stabilization as well. Interestingly, all the images of the new GoPro refer to underwater shots and in rather low light conditions. Does this indicate improvements in low light or generally better underwater shots? And then there is something else. Nick Woodman stated in February that GoPro plans to offer four different GoPro cameras by the end of the year. So there will be a Max, this Hero 11, possibly the third camera could be the GoPro Hero 11 Bones, so the GoPro adapted for FPV drones, and then we are still missing a fourth GoPro. This could be a slightly smaller GoPro, perhaps similar to the Session, a model with reduced specs that is aimed more at beginners, that is a bit cheaper and suitable for all those who don't need the maximum performance. So this so-called leak that we have seen today has certainly been deliberate planned by GoPro's marketing department. Anything else would be naive to believe. Therefore, it could well be that GoPro is still planning with a surprise at the presentation. And then there is DJI, which apparently wants to release an action free in mid-September. This information also seems to come from a reliable source. GoPro must therefore also be careful not to lose further market share here. But enough speculation for today. It's going to be an exciting autumn. I've shown you these first images today because I'm convinced you'll be interested in the news. I'll be back as soon as there is detailed information on the specs. So stay tuned and see you next time.